Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Phantom JS with Selenium Web Driver for Ruby. So go to official website of Phantom JS and download this Phantom JS for your operating system. For me, it is Windows OS and I have downloaded it and kept it in directory which I'm going to use for path so go to advanced system settings on windows and click on environment variables select path then edit it and point it to the directory that has phantomjs.exe once you do that you'll be able to run phantomjs from your command prompt simply type in phantomjs and it should start on your command prompt as you can see the prompt is right here on command prompt on windows now in order to run phantom js test using selenium ruby you have to make sure you have selenium web driver gem installed type in gem install selenium dash web driver once you have this gem installed you can execute the code for now open text editor and save the file with name demo.rb now type in require then selenium dash web driver after that type in driver equals to selenium web driver now here we are going to call for phantom js do note that phantom js doesn't open any windows or any browser instance it will run your code from the command prompt itself so now let's point it to google.com and then in next test we will simply try to get the page title okay here i'm going to simply call for driver.title now save this program open command prompt and type in ruby the name of your file dot rb watch the command prompt and here you will get the output showing page title It takes time depending on the process that Phantom JS has to do to get the driver title. Okay, so here you see page title is Google and our test is pass. So here is your code on how to run Phantom JS using Ruby Selenium WebDriver. 